Let's take this coloring page from this to this. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm exploring the possibility of entrepreneurship through print on demand and lots more. So here is the image that I generated using Bing AI. I clicked on download and now I'm heading over to Inkscape. Here I click on file, then import. I locate my downloaded image and then I click on open. You will get a prompt concerning the import. Just click on OK and your image will appear in your workspace. So with your image still selected, you want to click on trace bitmap and as you can see on the right, Inkscape has already generated a trace of your image and the only thing that we are paying attention to here is the values on the threshold. So using these plus and minus buttons, we can now manipulate the look of our generated image. By clicking on the minus button, you can already see that the shading on the image is decreasing and so we are getting something closer to what we would need for our coloring book. If you think it looks okay, then go ahead and click apply and it's currently on top of our imported image. So now you need to click and hold on your mouse and drag it either to the left or to the right. Now I have the image zoomed in and I'm just comparing side by side how much the image has changed. So I don't think I lost too many important details in the image. So I'm going to use this as it is and now it's time to export. So Inkscape automatically selects a file for your export, but you can always change this by selecting this little icon here. And here you can see that I am changing the file's name to Girl Brushing. And be sure to select PNG in this drop down box and save it to your designated file on your desktop or wherever you like. So now I'm back in Canva and as you can see I was already working on this project. Now I'm going to import the image that we just edited in Inkscape. So I clicked on upload and located my new image, there it is, and I clicked on open and then we'd have it in Canva. Now I know it's possible for you to edit your images on Canva and get rid of the grayscale, but I have tried that before and when I compare side by side with the quality of the image that I get from on Canva versus Inkscape, I like the Inkscape version better. So this is why I'm using this one and decided to share it with you guys. So let's do a little bit of recap using a new prompt from Bing AI and now I'm trying to get an image of a woman in the kitchen making breakfast. When it comes to generating images with human hands and feet, AI is still working through the kinks and so I find myself zooming in on the images to make sure that they look okay. So with our new images downloaded, we're heading back over into Inkscape and we're going to click and hit delete on our keyboard to get rid of the images that we were working on the last time. And then we're going back to file, hitting import, finding our downloaded image, clicking open, clicking OK when the prompt comes up. If you've never opened Inkscape before, then trace bitmap would not be available on the sidebar on the right. So what you can do is just right click on the image and it will be available on the drop menu. So when you click on trace bitmap, your image will pop up again just like it did before. Go ahead and change the values on the threshold until you like the way your new image looks. Remember not to take the values too low because the details in your image also start disappearing alongside the grayscale. When it's time to export, remember to move your image completely to the side so there is nothing overlapping and also to have selection selected and not page. And this is because if you have page selected, then only what's on the white page would be exported and not your entire image. Also remember to change your file type to PNG as Inkscape automatically selects SVG.
Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video and it was helpful to you in some way, then be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more.